the Meprolite RDS Pro V2. Let's check it out. Meprolite was founded in 1990 to produce optics for the Israeli military. Uh, they are one of the world leading optics manufacturers. They furnish optics for countries all over the world. And a lot of their optics are actually used by the IDF, including this RDS Pro V2. Uh, there's a number of different models. This is the top of the food chain for the RDS line. And there's a lot of great features to it. One of the big things about this type optic is it has a really wide field of view. It's just open. It's really great to see fast acquisition to your target. You're not looking through a tube. And it makes it great for both eyes open. Really with this frame around the site, it just looks like you're just looking out into a field and then you see the reticle. There's a number of different options on this. One of the things though that I love about this optic in particular is it uses a AA battery which is so common, so easy to replace, and still gives you about 3,000 hours of battery life. Now we want to thank Meprolite for sending the RDS Pro V2, and also to GetZone for putting all this together. Guys, GetZone is a Second Amendment friendly video platform, and if anything ever happens here on YouTube, you'll find us over at GetZone. Guys, here is the RDS Pro V2 on the rifle. You can see the size. Uh, definitely a little bit larger than a lot of the you know, non-magnified optics, but yet again, there are some advantages to having this kind of sight on there. It's a hard anodized aluminum body. Uh, this little top cover is polymer, and that may be some give for the lens to just kind of keep it from impacts. Here is your adjustment settings. It starts out to zero and goes four additional settings all the way down to night vision. Now you will notice that there's this toggle switch and we're gonna look at it. This is the brightest setting on one. When you hit this toggle switch, it actually drops the modes down incrementally. And then you can go back on the fifth one back to the original setting. Wherever you leave this setting, it will stay there once you cut it off. And as you can see, each one is marked. Now here are the adjustment settings. Uh, they are half MOA. You have your windage and elevation. This can be adjusted with a small screwdriver or a coin. Now you can see you have a pretty wide field of view with this lens. It's more rectangular instead of the circle. We're at the off position. We're gonna bring it to full sunlight. Now that is daylight bright, and guys, it is super bright. Uh, then you can, this little toggle switch, you can hit it, and it actually, adjust the reticle down. It's incremental and then it goes back to the full brightness setting. Then we can turn the dial and then we go down to lower settings and each one of those has four settings as well and then down to night vision and this one has four settings. So there's 16 settings all the way up. So it gives you a quick reference to be able to turn it but if you want to dial in you can just use that little toggle on the side and just go down in your modes. And again, if you want a quick reference, just pop it down. In comparison to the Aimpoint T2, this is like looking through a tube. Uh, there's nothing wrong with these scopes. In fact, they're excellent. You just see the advantage of having that larger field of view you can see compared to a small little standard red dot. But it's also just a larger optic. And so that is one of the advantages of having one of these type red dots. Uh, and of course, we have one of the high mounts on this one. You have a smaller aim point, but you have a bigger window on the Meprolite. 
course there's a lot of red dot sites on the market that are different configurations but this just gives you an idea of looking at some of the smaller more popular optics compared to something like this you have your battery compartment right here at the front I really like that it uses AA batteries uh, very common easy to use and uh, very easy to switch in and out. It has a tether here to hold on to your cap. Now there is a motion sensing shutoff. If this is setting for 20 minutes, it'll just shut off automatically, and that way you'll conserve your battery life. Uh, 3,000 hours with the battery. Once it gets down to about 50 hours of battery life left, it'll blink four times. Uh, once it gets down to five operating hours of battery life, it'll start just constantly blinking. But considering this is a AA battery with 3,000 hours of battery life, that is pretty impressive. But a lot of it has to do with the electronics in here. It's a low energy drain on the battery, and yet it gives you really good daylight bright settings. The temperature range is minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And obviously in Israel, there's a lot of extreme temperatures, and in the desert, it gets really hot. So these have been tested in those kind of conditions. Also, it's waterproof, it's IP68, which means it's 20 meters submersible or 66 feet. And this is mill standard qualified. Right here at the bottom, you have your quick release levers. Very easy to take on and off. They actually recommend that you turn the rifle to a 45 degree angle to take this off. Pops off, you can see the locking points to your Picatinny rail. And so this is gonna give you a really secure mount. But here on the other side, you have adjustment screws to be able to fit to whatever Picatinny rail that you're mounting it to. Now it's about four inches in length. According to the website, there's a little bit of a difference in what they're claiming, but it's about four inches. It's about two and a quarter inches in width and about two and a quarter inches in height. And it weighs 10.6 ounces. Now this is a mineral glass lens and it does have an anti-reflective coating applied, which is gonna keep down any kind of glare. And it is at an angle, but the glass in the back is at a 90 degree angle. We appreciate Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammunition, all made right here in the USA. Largest manufacturer of ammunition in the country. Also, we thank Lula Loaders again for saving our thumbs. These things are great. So guys, at the range, again, you just have this really large area to look through. It just gives you little distraction. And that's what you need. You don't want anything coming up on you. And it just naturally makes your, both your eyes open. Uh, so that reticle just shows up. You know where you're going. And again, it's so daylight bright. Uh, the mounting system on the rifle, we tried it on a uh, Tavor. We tried it, of course, on the AR-15. And it just is solid. I mean, those lockdown levers just hook in and they just really make a solid platform. And then with that circle with the dot, that bullseye, I really like that. It kind of attracts your eye to that certain target and then you just point it with that dot. So it makes it really easy to be able to get on target fast. And shooting all day long with the multiple rifles, uh, you know, it just stays in place. Another thing is it doesn't give you a lot of fatigue with your eye because you just have that wide open field. And that's one of the things I really like about red dots. Magnified optics definitely have their place and if you really want to get pinpoint, but for a combat optic having a open sight like this is just excellent. You can see the circle with the chevron, daylight bright. And guys, it is sunny out here and here with the rubber dummy, it just circles in. I mean, it makes it a really nice sight. Now, if you dim that down, it's more difficult to see with the camera, but you can still see it. But for daylight bright, this is excellent. Even with 1X, I mean, you can get out to distance. You can get out to two and 300 yards and hit man-sized targets with that dot because it just makes a precise aiming point. Now, the MSRP on the RDS Pro V2 is 599 I've seen it in a number of places for under the 550 mark. Uh, and then the RDS Pro retails for $449, and then just the RDS is $494. And you can look at your different gun shops or retail outlets to find the right one for you, which is typically less than a lot of other comparable designed optics 
in this same class. And you get that combat reliability that these are known for. Pros and cons of the RDS Pro V2. Uh, the one con I would say is that it is a large optic. Uh, it's large on the rifle compared to a lot of the smaller, you know, no magnification scopes that are out there, some of the small ones. But one of the problems with the smaller optic is you have a smaller window to look through and you're looking through pretty much a tube. And with this, you've got that larger window. And so there's little distraction. You're just looking out. It makes it more natural to keep both eyes open, in my opinion. Uh, the reticle is extremely bright and yet you can tone it way down if you need to with 16 settings. That's a huge plus. Also, taking AA batteries. To me, they're so common. You know, CR123s are common as well, but not near as common or as inexpensive as your AA batteries. But you're still getting 3,000 hours of battery life and you have that auto shut off after about 20 minutes. And you have the battery indicator. So I think that this really sets itself up to be one of those that you don't have to worry about leaving it on and your battery going dead, which I am notorious for. But yet, even though the sight seems to be pretty big, it's very rugged, made from aluminum, and it doesn't really weigh down on the rifle. I mean, it doesn't make it top heavy. And so, you know, when you put a big magnified optic on there, you're gonna get that. Uh, one of the things I like, and it's an advantage of your, uh, just your red dot sights with no magnification, is you can still get man size hits out to 300 yards consistently. And so for a combat reticle, to me, this makes a great option. And again, it's been proven by the IDF. They've been using these for a number of years. And they have a lot of combat experience to prove it. I'll just say that the IDF is not going to put anything on their firearms that will not last. And having true night vision capability is important, especially if you're using night vision. So guys, if you're looking for a red dot optic and you want something that's very capable, something that's battle proven, take a look at the Meprolite RDS line. All three of the RDS, the RDS Pro, and the RDS Pro V2 are exceptional sights. Uh, personally, I think that the V2 takes it up a couple of notches uh, with you know the waterproof capabilities, a little bit stronger, and just a couple of other features. There's not a lot of difference between the V2 and the standard RDS, but it's not that much more for a really capable battle-proven scope, so I really like it. But I think you're going to be just well served for either of the other two models. And again, we really appreciate Meprolite for sending the RDS Pro V2 for this test and evaluation and GetZone.com. Guys, check it out. With everything that YouTube does, we need that backup and it's great to have that strong Second Amendment friendly video platform. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Let's check it out. We really appreciate Meprolite for sending this light and they have a lot of ground to, and they have a lot to, God bless America, my air conditioner is on. <laughs> quality optic and yet you're not paying, and yet, every day about this time, this lady, I don't know if she's going to work or what, but she has about seven or eight dogs. You can hear them barking. They just love to follow her up the road and it happens every day. It's just hilarious.